The Maya civilization, which stretched across modern-day Mexico and Central America for thousands of years, is well known for its complex writing system, architecture, and of course, calendar. Remember when we thought the world was ending in 2012? Hmm, maybe we switched up the last two digits. But the Maya also had some super intense ideas of beauty. And for them, no pain meant no gain. From skull shaping to tooth sharpening. Today on Nutty History, we're covering what beauty was like in the Maya civilization. With excruciating detail. Have you ever looked at an ear of corn and thought, man, what a good looking vegetable. Corn, aka maize, was incredibly important to the Maya, both in terms of diet and religion. Maize was a staple crop, but also held deep spiritual significance. The Maya believed that humans themselves were created from corn. Thus, it's thought that looking more corn-like was a driving factor in the Mayan practice of cranial deformation. Yeah, in order to get the long, sloping forehead that the Maya considered to be peak hotness, they would attach two boards to the newborn baby's heads, pressing them into the forehead at an angle to elongate and slant the skull. This was apparently a pretty common phenomenon across all social classes, since 90% of later discovered and studied Mayan skulls were elongated. The bad news is that this practice might kill the infant. The good news is that baby brains are so malleable that skull moulding doesn't seem to have any long-lasting effect on brain function. Still, let's leave artificial skull shaping as a thing of the past. Remember trying to cross your eyes as a kid and being warned they get stuck that way? For Mayan parents, this was kind of the goal. Slightly crossed eyes were also considered beautiful to the Maya. So aside from moulding their baby's head shape, they'd try to achieve the coveted inward-facing irises for their kids. To do this, they'd fasten a headband to the child and hang a stone from a string in front of their face, hoping to pull their gaze inward and cross their eyes. Life as a Mayan baby seems stressful. Another facial feature considered attractive to the Maya was a prominent beak-like nose. But this fix was a tamer affair. If you weren't blessed with a super schnoz, you could wear a nose bridge, an artificial and removable attachment that gave the nose a distinctive hook shape. So while modern Western society shaves and slims their noses, ancient Mayans were doing the opposite. Beauty standards really make nose sense. While pointed teeth today might bring to mind Transylvania rather than the Maya civilization, sharpening your fangs was a Mayan beauty must. Another probably painful part of the beauty regime, the Maya filed down their teeth to a pointed or T-shape, possibly forming a pattern. How fancy! Another add-on to their pearly whites? Not pearls, per se, but other precious stones or jewels like pyrite, jade or obsidian. The Maya had some pretty advanced dental work for their time, and while they didn't generally use this knowledge toward healthcare, they did use it to make purposeful cavities which wealthy members of society would inlay with colourful minerals. One possible reason for this decked-out grill is the corn connection. It all leads back to corn. Ancient Mayans may have considered their teeth to be the kernels of the corn and adorned them with according importance. The Maya were pretty big fans of body modifications, and tattoos and piercings, specifically of the ears, nose and lip, were popular among both men and women. These tats probably weren't the kind you'd get at your neighbourhood shop, though. The tattoo artists would paint their masterpiece on the skin using body paint and then cut along the lines of the design. The resulting scar was your tattoo, along with a bonus, the infection it might have caused. Ouch! Because it was such a painful process, tattoos were seen as a sign of courage. I think I'll just be known as the village wimp, thanks. The Maya also used body paint to less permanent ends. Different members of societies used different colours. For instance, priests were often painted blue, warriors had bands of red and black paint, and unmarried men were likely to be painted black. I see a lone man and I want to paint him black. Anyway, it kind of seems like the Maya had their own historic version of the stoplight party. Overall, the Maya didn't really lean into the rhetoric of you're beautiful just the way you are, but really, what historic civilization did. Being beautiful in the ancient Maya civilization required money and a high pain tolerance. Let us know in the comments whether you could hack it, along with what nutty beauty customs you'd like to hear about next. But first, we just want to say, we think you really are beautiful, just the way you are. Thanks for watching.